you never read the, the writings on the wall about an artist, but this time we actually did. And it talked about how he had gone to the Huntington Gardens. Um, going there was his first museum experience and seeing Blue Boy and Pinky. And Kate and I kept thinking about that and just walking through the Rauschenberg exhibit and having uh, just like an overwhelming visual impact. Something all together hitting you over the head and feeling overwhelmed by it and then kind of thinking about the Huntington Gardens and when you go there, there's so many rose, roses in bloom, there's camellia trees everywhere. And I think Kate and I wanted to achieve that with this collection and then of course seeing the game throw, we kept thinking about 60s Avedon portraits and that yeah. black and white contrast. I think it's really important just to develop something that's more internal and so we're trying to just kind of create whatever we really feel strongly about. So that's why I think this collection was more about um, there was bigger shapes and it was a little bit more, I think it was more intense in a lot of ways. So. I think one of the things that makes us so connected to California, and besides like, I think the aesthetic, the landscape of the entire state has always been fascinating to us. And we always have this romance, like Laura and I initially were like, oh, we're obsessed with the gold rush, this kind of tragic history. I feel yeah. like everything is somewhat, has to be easy. Even though we work all the time, we're always working, and then, but I think the only way to enjoy it really is to have fun with it. We talk with our friend Johnson, if you're not 50% what we call a little bit ding ding and 50% intellectual, you can't enjoy what you're doing.